What's up, wonderful, amazing, sweet and lovely people? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day today and I hope you're not letting anybody steal your joy. Welcome to Mariam's Joyful Life. Today is a beautiful day. Thank you all so much for joining me. You guys are so amazing. Thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate your presence here on my channel. You guys are awesome and super amazing. So, if you're not yet subscribed and you're watching my video for the very first time, I will give you five seconds to subscribe because you are joining the most amazing channel on YouTube. Yes. And do you know who makes it amazing? You and me. So go ahead, go ahead and subscribe. One, two, three, four, five. Welcome to the family. My name is Mariam's Joyful Life. You can call me Mariam's Joyful Life. The reason for that is because I love being happy, okay? I choose happiness and joy over sorrow and darkness. And I have realized that my happiness, my joy, my excitement, they are not dependent on things that are happening on the outside of me. They are not dependent on circumstances. They are not dependent on people who don't like me or people who like me. It is just something that comes from being me. And what do I mean by being me? I was created by a loving God who loves me. And God did not put rules on me on why he loves me. God loves me unconditionally. So that means happiness and joy and peace and, and love and excitement. These things don't come to my life based on what is happening on the outside of me. They come to my life or based on my recognition of, of the fact that I was created by a loving God. That there is nothing I could ever do that can win his love. Nothing I could ever do that could separate me from the love of God. See? And that just makes me so happy. That even when I feel unworthy, I feel like I'm, I ain't nothing. God sees me and sees the world. Y'all, it's amazing. So this is why this is the best channel in the world. Because here, we promote positivity and life. Alright? I know this video is about telling you guys about my new man. My ideal man, right? Oh yeah, Mariam's got a man, baby. In reality, not yet, but it is going to happen, all right? It is going to happen, I'm telling you, it's going to happen. So, in this video, in fact, before I go into telling you guys about my new man, I want you guys to go ahead and thumbs up this video. All right, thumbs up this video. Those of you who have been waiting on Mariam to get a new man, thumbs up this video, because the new man is here. The new man is here. Thumbs up the video and also subscribe, all right? Okay, you guys, thank you all so much for being a part of my world. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your kind words. I appreciate every single one of you. You guys are super amazing and I'm happy to be here. Making videos make me happy, keep me alive. That is like when I had nothing, making videos just kind of like inspire me. You know, just, just being there to speak life into people or like feel my daily life, going about my life and doing the things that I do, which sometimes can be repetitive. It makes me happy. So long as I'm capturing it and I'm filming it and I'm watching myself on YouTube and then I have you guys too. It's so, it's so amazing. So I want to say thank you for being a part of my world. I really appreciate every one of you. You guys are awesome and amazing. Just in case you've never felt like your life meant anything or like your presence on this, um, on this earth, in this world. God help my English. Just in case you were wondering that you were not worth anything. You're worth everything because your being here makes me happy. I'm very grateful and thankful for you, all right? Thank you so much for being my friend, although I haven't seen you guys or met you guys in person, but I know that the God who created us, all right? He created us, and we are brothers and sisters, right? So I love you guys very much, and I'm very grateful for you. All right, let's go into the video. So today, right? Okay, before I even start talking, let me just fix my earring. I really love big hoops, you guys. I love big hoops. That's why I always have this. I sold this on my store and I kept me a bunch, you know, for myself. So I love these big hoops. And I'm also wearing my hoodie. You guys, you saw the, um, you saw the video I made, like showing you guys the outfits that I got from Fanbox Refinery. This is one of the outfits. I, I really love this one. This pink just gives me life. And we're talking about love in this video, right? Why not wear pink? I thought, why not wear pink? We're talking about love. We're talking about man, right? Because I love me a strong man, you guys. All right, let's go into the video. So, in this video, I want to tell you guys the type of man that I want. The type of man that I that, that can handle this African leopard. 
<laughs> All right, video over. I'm leaving. I'm just playing. Well, I want to tell you guys the type of way my ideal man. <coughs> Excuse me. And these um, qualities that I want a man, I have these qualities. Like, I want a man who's compassionate because I'm very compassionate. I want a man who loves me for me. I don't want him to have a reason for loving me. Well, there may come on. There has to be attraction. There has to see me. I'm like, oh my gosh, she was that sweet, amazing, lovely, dark chocolate African queen. You know what I mean? To think that and then be attracted to me. And then when he gets drawn to me from the first sight, you know, because I am pure, beautiful, I am very attractive. So when he gets drawn in, you know what I mean? And then when he comes close, what actually makes his heart rejoice and expand with joy and happiness is the fact that he sees my essence. And my essence include compassion, love, joyfulness, you know what I mean? kindness and peace i don't like the drama um although i don't run away from drama but i don't like drama so i want him to be in love with the person that i am on the inside i want him of course to be drawn to me to be attracted to me physically but what what deepens the attraction is the me the real me on the inside that's the type of man i want who will be into me you know what i mean really into me and then another another great quality i want in the man is confidence because i am confident you know what i mean and one thing about my confidence is that it's not dependent on what I'm going through or what is happening in my life at the time. It's just something that I just realized I'm human and I'm God's child and why not be confident? Why should I feel small, you know what I mean, in presence of anybody? I shouldn't because God created me and God made every one of us equal, right? It doesn't mean that I'm going to bring somebody down, you know, put somebody down. No, I don't like putting people down because I don't want to be put down. But I'm confident in myself and... Uh, I'm confident that God is able and God controls everything and God supplies all my needs, you know what I mean? Through people, through things, through ideas, God always supplies. And is there an ant on my leg? Okay, no, no ant. I don't like ants. They're good outside, but in the house, oh my gosh, it drives me crazy and I have to spray. Anyways, so my ideal man is a man who's compassionate, who has a big heart, a man who loves to help people, you know what I mean? Not a man who talks down on people. So that's, I guess that's another quality. A man who loves people whose heart is open and who, um, especially family, to whom family means a lot. A man who will be crazy about me and love my kids and be very, um, you know, loving and kind. A man who has confidence in himself, like I said, whose confidence is not based on what people think about him or how people perceive him. But a man who's confident in himself, knowing that he's a man and he prides himself in standing strong and being a support, like a you know, backbone of the family and just stand strong and will hold me in public and kiss me and, and, and will be like, yeah, this is my family. Back off, devil. You know what I mean? I want that type of man. I don't want a man whose confidence is based on how people perceive him, what people think of him or don't think of him, whether he's doing right or doing wrong. I want a man who's confident in the fact that, okay, God gave me this family and I'm responsible for being the man, being a pillar. What does it mean to be a man? It means to be a backbone. It means to be strong you know with your family to hold your family together it means to have a solid foundation it means to be connected to the creator because being a man on this side of the earth is on in, in the world it can be very um you know hard uh, in the sense that a lot of responsibilities are placed on men but then being a woman too is very hard in the sense that a lot of expectations are placed on women but what i'm learning now on my spiritual journey and knowing god you know from a different perspective y'all is that when we truly know God, we know that God is our anchor, God is our uh, foundation. And when we realize that, we know that the, the goal of life is to be compassionate, you know, to have purpose, meaning, significance. But all of it is centered and rooted in love. So what am I saying? I want a man who loves me and the children and who cares for us, a man who shows us he loves us through his actions and his words. A man who doesn't only love us when people are looking, you know what I mean, because of what people will say, but a man who thinks this way. Even What if there was nobody on this earth and it's just us? Would I do this because people are watching or would I do this because this is what is expected of me by God and this is what God wants me to do and this is what I, I wanna do because the essence of life is love and being there for those you love, right? That's the type of man I want because that's how I think. <clears throat> okay. Another quality I want in a man is, I want a man who like, when I look at him like there's a there's physical attraction too, but I know that if that is the only thing that I look at in a man, it'll, it'll wither. No matter how gorgeous the man may look, which by the way, I want a gorgeous man, okay? I want a gorgeous man with a rock hard body, you know what I mean? With a lot of sauce, a lot of heart, a lot of juice, baby. I do want that. But I don't want, like my attraction, 
I mean, I may be drawn in first for that, but even right now too, sometimes when I look at people, I'm not just looking at the physical, it's like something just draws me in and I'm looking at their essence so I can tell what is behind all the, all the, um, the mask. Lord help me. Anyways, you guys, but yeah, um, I want a man that I'm attracted to, you know, physically and um, spiritually. I want a man I'm connected to by the spirit, like a man who has a strong spirit, a clean spirit, you know, a sp the spirit of God on the inside of him. Because there's a lot of people with demonic spirits who come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. God save me. I don't want any type of man like that, too. Anyways, yeah. So I want a man who, who knows himself, a man who's strong. A man who's very confident, a man who's who's unafraid, you know what I mean? And a man whose actions and attitude is not dependent on what people think or feel or expect. No. A man who doesn't focus on the expectations of people, but knows what he's supposed to do as a man, to stand by his family. Um, a man who is excited to be a provider, although I am a provider too. I'm a I work hard, okay? I got money, money, money. Yes, God is my provider. Anyways, but I want a man who takes pride in, being, in providing for his family. But in the sense that he'll also let me. He'll be confident in me and believe in me and will, will be appreciative of me. A man who won't get jealous because doors are opening for me, opportunities are coming to me, or I'm, I'm going for higher, you know what I mean? I'm going for something bigger and I want something better and I want to contribute more to the lives of others, to my life, to his life, to my children, you know what I mean? I want a man who's not intimidated by my goals and desires and aspirations. I want a bowler, baby. I want a bowler. Preferably a man in the NFL. Somebody will say, Maria, go digger. No, I'm not a gold digger. I want a man in the NFL. Why do I want a man in the NFL? I want a man who knows how to be competitive. Not for my heart, because if he captures my heart, it is all his. I will not go around looking for somebody else. No, what I mean by that is a man who knows what it, what it, what it feels like and what it is like to be, you know, committed to something and walk, walk hard towards it and give his all and train his mind, his body, his spirit and soul for it. Now, why do I choose an athlete specifically? I am an athlete. I was an athlete in college. And I know that being the best that I wanted to be and working hard and, and you know what I, what I mean? Um... It's, it takes a lot of discipline and commitment. So I committed myself to stand out. I had to commit myself, not just physically, mentally, not just emotionally, but also I had to commit myself psychologically, knowing where I wanted to go and where I wanted to be. Because in college, you know, being an athlete, a full-time athlete and a full-time student, it ain't easy, okay? It ain't easy. You, ain't, you, don't, you don't have a life. You don't have anything to do. You just, I mean, you're very disciplined. You know what is expected of you. You have to focus and go after it. Anyways, I want a bowler. What am I saying that? Number one, I want a bowler who's confident in himself, a man who knows himself, a man who has a presence about him. When he comes in and stands, everybody stands and is like, oh my gosh, who is that? A man with a certain kind of oomph and presence, you know what I mean? Somebody who's going to make me feel like, yes, that's my man. Of course, I'm going to feel like that whether anybody is watching or not, but I still want that type of presence, you know, that's that special extra sauce. You know what I mean? I want a man who's strong and confident in himself, a man who's loving and will just hold me and give me a big hug and say, hey, baby. I was like, hey, baby. Ooh, yeah. That's the type of man I want. I want a man who's, who loves kids. You know what I mean? A man my son can look up to and say, I'm going to be like that. Somebody who's a great role, role model, somebody who loves God. You know what I mean? I want the baller, baby, a baller. Anyways, so I want a man who will not give up easily. I want a man who, who, who's mentally strong. You know what I mean? A man who will never give up on his family. I want a man. I want a union forever. That kind of union that lasts forever that I know, okay, I got this. I, he's, he's got my back. Because let me tell you guys, when I got your back, I got your back. The only way I will not get your back is if you run away or you, you do something, you just put me down and, and hammer me and try to hurt me and crush me and stuff. Then, okay, I will just hands off and walk away. Because then, if I don't run, you will kill me. And I don't want to die. I have kids to raise. Anyways, yeah. So, I want a kind-hearted man. A man who's very compassionate. A man who respects women. You know what I mean? A man who, who is not prejudiced. I want a man who loves people, not because of the color of their skin, Although I want a man who will love my brown skin, okay? He's got to love my brown skin and be crazy about this sweet, sexy African leopard. Rah! Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> some of you guys are already like, Marami, you know what? I'm out of here because Marami is something else. I'm not something else. I'm just open up, opening up my heart. And I'm also trying to make this video fun for you guys. And I'm looking at the time to make sure I can hurry my butt up and go work. Anyways, you guys, but this means a lot to me. I love making these videos for you guys. I love, you know, being here. I just I just love you guys so much. And I and especially love hearing good news about you guys. Now your lives are getting better every day because that's what I want for you, okay? All right, let's go back into the qualities of my man. Okay, let's go back talking about the qualities of my man. Tell my English, God. Anyways, you guys, so I do want to make a baller. I want a baller. I mean, he could be from the NFL or the NBA. Um, and somebody will be like, Mariam has met a baller. That's why Mariam is making a video right now so everybody will know that the kind of man she wants is an athlete, is seen in places. Oh my gosh, girl, what you been doing? Well, um, not yet. I haven't met the baller yet. I'm just saying this is what I want. If the baller is out there, he will find me. We will find each other. But anyways, I just want a man who's confident, a man who's strong, a man who's mentally strong, a man who knows himself, you know what I mean? And knows that this African princess is who he wants. African queen. <clears throat> anyways, I want that. A confident man, amazing man. A man who doesn't change based on who is watching or who's not watching. A man who's himself and who owns it. You know what I mean? Um, a one woman's man. Because I, I, I don't want no player, all right? I don't play. I ain't, ain't no player. So I want a man who has the kind of qualities that I have. But he's a strong, amazing, sexy, sweet sugar man, baby. That's what I want. Who will love my kids and there won't be any difference. You know what I mean? Who appreciates my kids and love my kids and just like, oh, make me feel like, wow, this is awesome. A man who wants my heart. A man who truly wants me, for me, who knows everything about me and still say, Mariam, in spite of everything. In fact, this is, this is, this is because, or this is why I love you, okay? This is why I love you, Mariam. A man who's, who's comfortable with my craziness and, and my desire for God and my, my, my passion, because I am very passionate. And I want a man who can put it down in the bedroom, baby. I don't want a weakling. I don't want a weakling. I want a man who's strong, you know what I mean? A man who's active. Ah, ah, ah. I want all that. So, in essence, you guys, this is the type of man I want. And guess what? I'm going to find him. Or he's going to find me. We are going to find each other. All right? Now, that is the end of the video. I can't talk anymore. I can't go on anymore. My mind is already like, where is that man? Let him come here right now. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Okay, he's a baller. All right, you guys. In essence, I want a baller. I do. I want a baller in that sense. You know what I mean? I want a baller who's into me, who loves kids, who wants family, and who everything that makes me happy, that he loves it. He's like, oh my gosh. You know, a man who loves God, a man who's Christ-like, who's like, when God commits your, my family into my hands, then I, I, I gotta be a man and stand by my family and my wifey and my kids, you know? That's the type of baller I want. You know what I mean? A man who's successful, who's outgoing, strong, and who's into me. All right, that is, in essence, what I want, you guys. Hey, you single ladies, what do you want? What is your ideal man? I have just told you guys the kind of man that I want, the kind of baller I'm getting ready for. In fact, I am ready for. I am ready, okay? I am ready for. So, I, um, that's it. All right, you guys, I gotta go. I got a commitment to keep. I love you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, now what do you they wait for? Go ahead and subscribe and be a part of my world. You don't know the kind of video I'm gonna bring next, okay? It's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be amazing, just like this one. This is my ideal man. Is it here? Hey, honey, show yourself! You guys can't see my honey right now.